everybody, welcome to the Harmonica Barge. Had a request to do a little rhythm thing on a tong block groove. This is actually the, the tune that comes on the end of all my videos. It's a piece of mine called Hammond's Place. It's actually in the key of F, so I'm using a B flat harmonica, so it sounds like this. I think probably most of you guys will have a C harmonica, so for now I'm going to switch to a C. Technique's the same, we're just changing key. This is not really a beginner's video. If you've never done tong blocking before, it might seem a little bit tricky. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this as the ideal place to start tong blocking, but if you want to have a go, it might work out. All I'm doing is taking a chord on the in breath, holes one, two, and three, like that chord in, and then what I'm doing is sticking my tongue down, down, in, sticking my tongue in, hole one, like that. So I've got a chord, and I'm just breaking all this down slowly, and then chord in, one, two, three, and then sticking my tongue in hole one. And as I'm doing that, slightly I'm bringing my mouth in a little bit at the same time. Now that might be tricky at first. I'd, I'd worry about the tongue first of all. And what you get, once the tongue's in hole one and I'm breathing in, it leaves you just with hole two. So we call this a tongue slap. Slapping the tongue into hole one. So I'm starting with a chord. It's almost like the chord becomes a grace note and then you get this nice percussive effect when the tongue goes down. And this kind of, this sort of technique is a massive feature of tongue blocking. Uh, you know, all kinds of debates, what's the best harmonica technique and puckering versus tongue blocking, all this kind of stuff. Um, you know, they're all good for different things. It all achieves different sounds and timbres from the instrument, the, the actual sound that the instrument makes. But this technique allows you to do some nice percussive effect it's not too dissimilar from the kind of little Walter Chicago blues vibe like vamp on a playing the chord and slapping that tongue in but I'm taking that and putting it into a straight rhythm almost like with a two feel sort of an old timey folk kind of groove so I've got chord slap and two breaths in that's the whole thing Chord, slap, two breaths in. Yeah. I'm going to slow it all down, which sounds kind of silly, but. But of course, the slap happens just after I take the chord in. Chord, slap, breaths, breaths. So the chord and the slap is almost the same time. I'm playing the chord and then slapping just a fraction after. Which makes the chord come as a grace note. So you can hear the slap there and then finishing it off with the two chords in. So the whole thing yeah, it's going to take a bit of practice and getting that tongue into hole one so, and if I keep doing that, I'm going to fill up with air. So I need an out breath. So every fourth time of that small riff, I'm going to put an out breath. That's where it's going to come. If I make the motion of that, it's quite difficult. And on the fourth one, after I've done the double chord in, I'm putting an extra chord in to preempt the out. So I go. And like any of these harmonica rhythmic kind of chord groove things, it's all about trying to get consistency, I think, in your execution and delivery. 
because you're almost thinking like a drummer, you want to try and get this groove going so people are tapping their feet. We're just slowing it down. All about trying to get it down slowly at first, mechanically. If I switch back to my B flat harmonica, so after the intro, the tune starts to. We'll worry about that in another lesson, but you can play around with this groove once you get that groove going. That's how it sounds on the B flat harp, but I'm going to switch back to the C for you guys. Right there, I'm doing the out breath on the fourth time, but you could try it every other time. Or put it randomly. Every time. Start to mix some single notes in. Mix in some single notes, substitutions, that kind of stuff. Personally, I prefer the sound of these things on lower harmonicas. So C harmonica, kind of okay, but... There you go. So that's the intro riff to my song Hammond's Place. Uh, incidentally, if anyone wanted to buy that, you can go to my website, edhopwood.com. This isn't a sales pitch, but the EP's on there in full, uh, in case you wanted to listen to the, to the whole track. Uh, so I've been here on the Harmonica Barge. Uh, thanks very much. See you next time. Yeah.